Welcome back, Patriot fans here at Waldrop Stadium. Patriots with a 17-7 lead. We're going to go right into our halftime first half stats and with the offense and Mitch Nelson. Uh, thank you, Tim. Homewood finished the first half with 10 rushing attempts for a total of 116 yards. Passing, uh, Austin Hubbard was six completions on 10 attempts for 63 yards or a total offensive production of 179 yards. We had three first downs. We punted the ball twice for a 33-yard average. We were penalized three times for 30 yards. Individually, Steve Friedman carried the ball 10 times for 116 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, receiving the ball, Tyler Robbins had three receptions for 27 yards. Tim Hawthorne had one reception for 37 yards, and Brandon Polk had one for two yards. And on return yards, Tyler Robbins had three returns for a total of 21 yards. On the Paul Bryant side of the ball, they rushed the ball 24 times for 27 yards. Passing, there were five completions on nine attempts for 68 yards or a total offensive production of 95 yards. They ended the first half with six first downs. They punted the ball five times for a 36-yard average and was penalized one time for five yards. Uh, let's get back to the game and get some offense going, Tim. So, appreciate you, Mitch, with the first half offensive stats. We're going to go right to Steve Trucks on the defensive stats. Thanks, Tim. Another good job by the defense, other than what I'll call the fluke touchdown they had right before the half, but it's still a touchdown off the uh, uh, the fake field goal there. The defense has done real well. A lot of a lot of guys been in on a lot of tackles and a lot of folks doing a, a lot of good things to uh, keep Paul Bryant hemmed up. Kenny Baker's had a great night, been in on three tackles. Michael Oliver is just having a wonderful game, eight tackles. Daniel Hayes, two. We got Scott Lee with five tackles. DJ Taylor is uh, leading the uh, half tonight with nine tackles. Michael Causey with one. David Hitman Green has got uh, three tackles. Sam Berry with two. Aaron Sackfeld all over the field got four tackles. Ken Hurricane uh, Dorsey's in on three tackles, doing a great job in the middle. Mike Stonewall in on a tackle force. And Robert Wildman Gentry is uh, four tackles, doing a wonderful job. Stan the Man Goblin's got seven tackles. Aiden McClung doing a great job on kickoffs. He got two tackles. Cordaria Sky Rogers, one tackle for us. Jamal Smith with one tackle. Cortez Slaughter with one. Dominique Porter's doing an excellent job on the end containing uh, that crazy offense they're running. He's got two tackles. And he got uh, Martez Packer with one. Cody Rogers with one. We've got uh, Eddie McClung a did a great job on stripping the uh, ball loose, uh, causing a fumble and recovered by uh, – David, the hitman green. So good job by the defense. I need to just keep doing what they're doing, and uh, we'll be in good shape. Back to you, Tim. Appreciate it, Steve. And uh, kind of a funny half of stats there. The Patriots, 179 total yards of offense to 95 for Paul Bryan. And, you know, just a broken play here, uh, a broken play or a fake punt, a fake field goal there. We're not real sure, but uh, nice job for Paul Bryan hanging in the game, you know, and uh, – pretty good first half see if we can get it juiced up I think we get the ball first to start the second half Tim Larry I mean we're so spoiled that's what we talk about at halftime we're so used to these young men on offense scoring you know every drive and hey sometimes it doesn't happen you know you needs one point to win so uh, come on defense well we're truly spoiled and, and uh, 17 to 7 lead at half is a good uh, lead over a Paul Bryant team and and tomorrow Alabama plays Mississippi State and I'm going to tell you now, if they're up 17-7 half, everybody be proud. And Auburn plays Kentucky, and if they're up 17-7, they're not going to be, you know, we're spoiled here. Well, I mean, we're just definitely spoiled. Paul Bryant's better in our league than I think State and Kentucky are tomorrow in their league. So uh, we're playing a pretty good opponent. Well, there's a great shot of our coaching staff and uh, going to be the kick return team coming out on the field. Great shot of Kenneth Dorsey, Hurricane, number 47 right there. We'll great addition to the Patriot team he's become. Well, I tell you what, I, I truly believe we're going to play a better second half than we did our first half. And uh, I think we're going to move the ball a little bit better and get a little more comfortable lead here. There's yeah, one of the yep. fun parts of Homewood football right there. Get set up for the drum line there in front of the seniors and the Letterman. Cheerleaders, all everybody doing that. We call it shimmy, shimmy, shake, Larry. Is that what you call that? Call it a fun time Let's on a Friday here. night. Tim, let's do that. No, okay, here we go. Kick off. There's a kick. Roll it down. Robbins with it. Oh, Turn look at it that up. Man. 
Burst of speed gets out to about the 45 where the Patriots will have it first down and 10. What a beautiful run and he cut so sharp and uh, I'm telling you, he's, he's a beautiful runner to watch and uh, he's the right man to have back there running that football. Watch it. Let's watch the replay right here. Now you missed it today at the pep rally, the senior moms of the football players, and cheerleader, senior moms, and Star Spangled Girls singer from the moms. Got it all in that. Hand off to Freeman. Brown right in, gain of about seven on first down. Yeah, playing a little more sense of urgency here across the front line, blowing them back. Well, look at the line surge on that side of the line. Bodine, way to go, buddy. Michael Thompson with a pancake block right there. Nice job by the offensive line. Bodine, your center, Justin and Jarvis King. Your two guards. Michael Thompson along with David Ross, your tackles. Give to Freeman with a stiff arm and a first down carry down to about the 40. Power football right there. And I know Coach Newton likes power football. And let's watch this line surge again. And we got our big, strong Steve Freeman with the ball. One guy arm tackle, I don't think so. And a beautiful block and then Hawthorne on downfield. Yeah, good, nice good job, job by Tim Hawthorne on the block. First down at 10, 40 yard line for the Patriots. Robbins and Cole to the far side, double tight end set with Revis and Hawthorne. Here's another give to Freeman with a turn. Gained about seven once again. Beautiful block in Michael Thompson and uh, Jarvis King. I'm just starting to watch him every play. Watch him. He gets on the linebacker and the guy gets off, but he turns him around and watch him. Gets back up, gets the same guy again. That's a great play, Jarvis. It may have been a, it may have been a little challenge in the locker room. What you think? I bet Coach Newton had some uh, famous words to say to these young men. Second down and about three. Cole and Robbins to the far side. Double tight end set. Give to Freeman with a cutback. And a first down carry down to about the 26. And vintage Steve Freeman right there running, getting those extra yards. David Ross decks his man. And uh, all the way across that line, they're doing a good job staying on it. Look at Bodine, puts his guy on his back. Good job, Bo. Here we go, Steve. Steve picking up three extra yards on his own. Look, yeah, again, they, they picked it up a little bit here. Hunter Revis, the tight end. Got a timeout here. Timeout home Time with. Timeout on the field, and we're going to take a little break here and listen to our friends at Malcolm Auto. I must say that in all my years, I have never seen such a pitiful display. The word disappointing doesn't quite describe the performance we see here tonight. The resources were available, but they didn't get the job done. Okay, that's enough. Look, I told you not to take it to one of those quick loop places. Now we're all late for the game. This one's all over, folks. I can see the fat lady warming up now. Appreciate Malcolm Auto and uh, Robbie Malcolm. And go see Robbie with your auto needs and uh, talk a little Homewood football. You know, Kudos to our band tonight, and uh, I tell you what, the Paul Bryant band was, I think, the best band that's visited us all year, but uh, our, our band beat them again, though. First down at 10, balls at the 26-yard line. Opening drive of the second half, give to Freeman. And it'll be run out of bounds after about a yard loss. So he picked that up on his own there, guys. Been waiting on him. Well, we need to put the ball in the air here a little bit because we've run the ball every time and, uh, you know, we've challenged them and let's see what we do. Loss. Ball's at the 27 yard line. Double tight end set. Uh, There's a fake. Hubbard looking to throw, and he goes down at about the 28. Well, we got six men on the line, five in the backfield. It's going to be – it's an illegal formation, an uh, illegal procedure there, so the penalty's going to be on us. Yeah, I think Austin's foot got stepped on, guys. So, uh, everybody had a little sigh there. 
They're sorting it out. Here come they're talking to Paul Bryant. Well, they want to see if they want. They're going to turn yeah, the penalty like they're down. They're going to decline it. formation on the offense penalty is declined it's third down I believe our end lined up in the backfield that time we veed our line too much back bowed back too much third down at 12 trip to the far side Hawthorne to the near side off to looking for Hawthorne the ball goes incomplete Miscommunication there, had a little check off there. And, uh, fourth down, gonna go for it here, guys, I believe. Well, I tell you what, we just hadn't been on the same page, and uh, you gotta be on the same page. And uh, of course, you gotta give a little credit to Paul Bryant, too. They, they played some pretty good defense, but fourth down and 12, and we're gonna go for it at the 28 yard, yard line. Nine fifty-four remaining. Third quarter, Patriots 17 to seven lead. Gonna fake the draw. Hubbard to Hawthorne. Touchdown, Tim Hawthorne. Vintage Hubbard to Hawthorne there. Beautiful fake and, and Steve helped sell it. Beautiful ball handling by Austin and uh, that was a great play. Let's watch it again. Great ball fake. Watch that hiding ball behind his body. And look at that. everybody following him, including the cameraman. But good catch, good run after the catch. Yards, yards after the catch. Yaks. There I go Timbo. Coach Gannon. Daniel discussing. Hayes on. Temp extra point. Scott Lee with your hold. Nice block by Cortez Slaughter for the Patriots with a 24-7 lead. Let's watch the touchdown one more time. Well, beautiful play. Watch all the Paul Bryant people turn this way with Steve. Look at all those guys. Even the linebacker on the other side of the field gets out of the zone. I'm gonna tell you that the faking, the ball handling's big. Yeah. And Tim was double covered as well on that one. They had two men on him. They had a linebacker in front of him and he comes over to help tackle Freeman. Nice job by the offense right there. And I'll tell you what, I believe Mr. 14 is going to come in the ball game here and uh, let's see what old Drew can do with it. Drew K. Kilgore. Do y'all know what the middle initial K is? Keeper. Keeper. You got it. All right, here's my favorite play, guys. Defensive kickoff. That means we just scored, the game started, or something. Let's go. Make something happen. High kick at about the 14. Oh, Boom. good hit, Scott Lee. Scott Lee and Causey. There he is. So the Patriots go eight plays, 54 yards, and a 28-yard touchdown pass. Hubbard to Hawthorne in two minutes and 16 seconds to start. Scott Lee, first one down there as usual, and big hit. I hope he didn't hit him too hard. He looks a little discombobulated there. He's the so fast he gets down there and then after he gets down there he sets up in a good football position makes the tackle. Good play Scott Lee. Ball at the 21. DJ Taylor and Aaron failed. Tim are we sounding like broken records up here or what? Because I mean this DJ Taylor, DJ Taylor great game. Him and Aaron failed. Great technique. I'm nice a job by Aaron failed. DJ Taylor playing a great game, 34. Rogers and Gentry, your two tackles. Porter and Fell, your ends. David Green, Stan Galbraith, and DJ Taylor. Your linebackers, Lee and Baker, your corners. Hayes and Oliver, your safety. And Aaron failed with a tackle out to about the 29. What speed, Larry. Aaron set up. Stopped his lane, then converged on the ball on about one second. So unbelievable. I'm with you. It's it's almost unfair. Crashes got, down. 
Uh, he's so big and strong, you'd think he'd be slow, but he's not. He's fast as a speeding bullet there, or speeding in, and a uh, great play, Aaron. Third down and three, balls at the 29-yard line, possession down for the stampede. Straight ahead, gonna be near the marker. DJ Taylor in on the tackle. Stan yeah. Galbraith. I think they're going to move the chains on us there, Larry. Hard nose running there in the middle. Yeah, DJ, good good play there, though. He stuck him pretty good, so. Come on, Patriots, stop them right here. That's their seventh first down of the game. I think Robert Gentry's going to get a big hit right here, guys. Kenny Baker, and looks like David Green, Stan Galbraith, cleaning him up. Yeah, it ain't pretty, but it's effective. They, they got motion everywhere, then coming out to the left far side, and Kenny coming up, closing down the lane, Daniel in there, Stan cleaning up. They're a physical team, Larry. They're coming after us. Gain of about three yards, second down and seven. Same play. Yeah. Got around the end. Gonna be third and short. Dan Galbraith in on the tackle. Kenny Baker out there as well, as usual. And uh, they're running downhill, Larry. They're coming in, hitting us hard there. I don't know well, what, uh, you know, we started the game off saying this. A single wing team's gonna run the ends. Yeah. And if you can't run the ends, you're in for a long night. But uh, they've done a pretty good job. And But that's their bread and butter. If they can't run that, they're in big trouble and they know it. Third in a yard. Great direct snap and a first down. And then some out to about the 47 yard line. Stan tripped him up there. Got Cameron Daly coming in on defense. Yep. Checking in a defensive tackle. He subs to him a little bit. We're getting a little winded out there. You know, these parents, y'all better get the uh, Advil out for these young guys. They're going to be sore tonight. And they've been hitting more tonight than have all year except for last week. First and 10. Looking to throw. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, David, David Green. Green. There you go. Big play. Congratulations. Talk about some speed, man. I mean, he's like, he comes flying in here. Watch David Green make his play. Well, he just flies to the ball. That's full speed. And the guy tries to evade him, but terrific balance and yeah. job there by David Green. Nice job by the senior, David Green. It's a great shot of him. Yeah, a little freelance in there. I don't think that was a design blitz. He just saw that gap and shot it close on his ball. Way to go, man. There's there a we quick go. screen. Kenny Baker, Michael Oliver, DJ Taylor all in the middle of that. Well, yo, Kenny, I don't think they'll be playing. They'll be calling that play again. Oh, yeah, guys. That, 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 like a train wreck. Yeah, that, that ain't pretty. Yeah. yeah, it looked like we had that play from the get-go. I mean, it looks like we heard that one in the huddle. They throw it out there, and I, I believe we have about as good a chance at the ball as they do. Looks like that volleyball tournament Tim was at there last week. Fourth and what, about 18? Or no, it's third. Okay. They're going to put their third down team in. Now they're going to either call timeout or get an illegal substitution. Take your pick. Uh, Here comes the clock now. So it's going to be third down. About 17 to go. Ball's at the 40-yard line. Porter. Woo. <laughs> there 
There you go, Robert Gentry and Dominique Porter flushed him out. Fail. Yeah. Covered sack a little bit too, guys. He had nowhere to throw it. Had to pull Dominic it down. so fast the guy can't even hold him. Watch him. He tries to hold him. Look at that left hand on his back, like we saw last week, some, but he couldn't even hold him down. Great play, Dominique. Nice sack. Fourth down and about 20. Robbins back deep. Kenny Baker, I don't know how he missed that one. Or Oliver. Robbins picks it up. 35 yard punt and about a two yard return, but a uh, good job. I tell you, I don't know if we've had a better return man than 32 back there. I like the way he handles himself back there. We'll catch it in traffic, out of traffic. He, he just doesn't let it roll unbelievably. So, uh, oh, Michael Alford didn't hurt himself. Nothing <laughs> like that. Look like Superman out there. He came up holding his back. Looks like me and you getting out of these chairs, Larry. Oh. <laughs> so the Patriots in business, 32 yard line. Kilgore in the game at quarterback. Give to Steve Freeman. Oh! oh there's no Flag way. on the play. Freeman with a big gain, but it's going to be called back. Nice. Larry, I'll let you call it. Run it again, Glenn. Let's get a second look at it. But uh, nice handoff here. And let's watch and see if we. Uh, I don't know. It may be a hit to the face. No, it's just straight holding. I... Well, I guess if you extend your hand, I don't know. He extended his hands, man. That guy was hitting him in the face, man. So. Sorry. They didn't ask for a vote, did they? They don't ever do. You know what that joker did? He cookies cookies and brownies. I put up James cookies. He was asking for a vote. Here's your call. We have holding. On the offense, 10-yard penalty, spot a foul, replay first down. So we'll remain first down. It's actually going to be first down and 13 now. Ball spotted back at the 29-yard line. Negates a big run by Steve Freeman, too. Kill Gore, Freeman in the backfield, double tight end set. Give to Freeman. God, Still on his feet. Look at that. Unbelievable, one, two, three, four, five. Five of them to get him down. So a gain of about six yards on first down from Steve Freeman. All right, remember you heard it here first. When we keep the ball this time, good things are gonna happen because I'm gonna tell you, they're not even looking at our quarterback as he hands that ball off. Look, look see, he, he's by himself. It's gonna be the K right here. I think so. The K factor. Second down, long seven. Robbins in the backfield with Kilgore. Woods to the near side, Cole to the far side. Falk and Revis, your tight end. Skyler Robbins goes down. So it's gonna, gonna be fourth down. Be third down. Third down, third down. I'm telling you, the keeper will make the seven yards we need here. Of course, they're going to have eight guys out here when he does, but it's, it's going to look good. Come on, Drew. Keep it, buddy. Good shot of Drew, the junior quarterback. Good shot of his offensive line. Yeah, we got a coach that knew our old signals, I think, on the other side, so we got our plays on the wrist tonight. Got the snap off. Kilgore looking to throw. Gonna throw there it long is. to Cole. Oh. Ball goes incomplete. Good call, good idea. Not a bad pitch there, Drew. Just missed it just a little bit. All right, let's get our kicking game going here. 214 in the third quarter, 24 to 7 lead. Oh, Will, he's got to run all the way back down the field. Put it. He's gonna be tired. <laughs> Cole with the punt. Ball at the 35 yard line. Aaron 
and fell with a nice snap. Cole, plenty of time. Nice high oh. kick. Get it. Get it. Uh, Go ball. Get it. Hit him. Kenny him. Baker. Oh. I'm going to say he kicked it to about the 17 and ran backwards for two more. So that would be, what, 33 and 15. So a 48 yard punt and a minus two return. Pretty good kicking game, guys. Nice job, Will Cole. Well, that one really jumped off his foot into the air. That was stratosphere right there. Well, he really got it about the 20. That that that, that play right there shows you kind of what kind of returner Robbins is. And when you when he can't come up there and catch it, it really makes problems. First down and 10, 15 yard line for the Stampede. Motion. Keeper by the quarterback. Come on, Kenny. Kenny Baker pushes him out of bounds. Well, good play by Kenny to get him out. Aaron got bugged, hit in the back, but I guess I could do that in the box, but he got three guys on him. Guess that's what it's going to take to keep him out of there. Sam Barry in the game at linebacker. DJ. Daly, Cameron Daly, along with Gentry, you tackled. Porter and Fell, Drenz, Sam Barry, Galbraith, along with Taylor at the linebacker. Direct. There you go, Scott. Scott oh, Lee yeah. with a nice play. Way to go, 2 6 solo tackle. He's bigger than you. I don't know if he's faster, but uh, you don't have to be pretty. Just get him on the ground, guys. Great recognition by Dominic Porter. Trap play coming. He closes to the inside. So when he goes outside, Scott's got a one on one with their halfback. Good play, Dominique. He's going to be. Third down and short, about three yards for the first down for the Stampede. We need a big play here. Oh, Keeper. Kept it. Oh, man. <clears throat> Good play call. Good Kenny play Baker call. knocks him down at about the 38-yard line. Ah, they took advantage of our speed. You know, we look. Pursuing to the ball and uh, got some good athletes over there. Good, good pursuit angle though. Get him out of bounds. We had a three-man line that time, and that was a terrific call on the Paul Bryant people. Forty-seven seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Patriots with a 24-7 lead. The good shot of the junior Cameron Daly, 72. Boom. Wow. Uh, hello, Cameron Daly. Yeah. Sam Barry in there. Stan Galbraith. Stan Galbraith. Nice play defense. Let's watch this again. I believe it's big old Cameron that just jams this up. Yep. And Aaron failed in there, too. So, gain of two. Second down and eight. Probably going to be the last play of the third quarter. Get him. There you go. Aaron ran him down from behind. Aaron came in on a blitz, guys. They had him standing up and he kind of shuffled over. That was an interesting look. Dominic Porter kind of standing his ground there, and that's the end of the third quarter with a 24 7 lead. We're going to take a little break and listen to our friends at Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wiggly has a rich heritage built over several decades by stores that are locally owned and operated. Living in and supporting our communities is how we stay close to you, our customers. Our reputation is built on quality products and exceptional service with no games or gimmicks. And everyone gets the same low prices. Piggly Wiggly, where's my shopper's meat? See you at the pig.
there's a great shot of the flag lowering ceremony here, and uh, we appreciate our friends at Piggly Wiggly, and we've had some great shots here tonight, and our cameraman, what a great job they do. Steve Freeman, Dan Cannon, first half, Billy Higginbotham along with uh, Tim, Tim Bailey. Bailey, Tommy Holcomb up top, and uh, what a great job they do, and Brian James and Glenn Williams in the truck putting it all together and making sure we get the right shots. We really appreciate what they do. What a great, that's a great shot right there from Steve Freeman. There's our offensive unit. And let's don't forget our guy on the sideline does a terrific job helping us with the statistics, Keith Litton. Yeah, he was just radioing, radioing up, telling uh, Corderas has a shoulder sprain and uh, keeping us. Back to live action, third down and short and a nice play on a first down. Oh. Sam Barry coming in to finish it up. Balls at the 45 and a first down for the Stampede. Kenny said, hey man, I'm hitting him, don't knock me out. Sam Barry came in there and just cleaned that guy's clock. Unbelievable, but uh, good play call by Brian there. They, they got us in the shift. I don't think anybody hits harder than Sam Barry. You know what, he's gonna deliver a lick. Yes, there. He brings a low. First and 10, 45. Encroachment. Five-yard penalty, first down and five at the 40 for the Stampede. Offside's in, so go back five more yards here. And we'll be back where we started. his voice there. First down at 10 after the penalty. Looking to throw. Scott Lee. There you go, baby. With the North interception. Side. North side, north side, north side. 17. Gets it back out to about the 42, 43 yard line for the senior, Scott Lee. Hey. Big play, Scott Lee. Played it perfect, picked it off, and uh, I'll tell you what, he had it all the way. This is a huge play. Pretty good rush here, Cameron Daly, and he pulls off of him. Good play, Cameron, but Scott's out there in center field. Terrific play, and buddy, he knows what to do. He turns right up that field, gets big yardage coming back. Good play, Scott. So the Patriots be in business back at the 42 yard line. First down and 10 is a great shot of the senior, Scott Lee. Now we're having a discussion. Was that block in the back or something there? No, I didn't see it. I don't know. There we go. Let's get the referee if we can here. Got holding on Homewood. Penalty. First down. It's still our ball. Ball, backs the ball up to the 30, where it'll be first down and 10 after the interception by the defense. The centers Bodine, Justin and Jarvis King, you guards, Michael Thompson, David Ross, you tackle. Paul and Revis, you tight end. Kilgore, roll it to his right. Looking for Hawthorne, ball goes incomplete. Gonna bring up second down. Well, pretty good pitch there, just the, didn't quite have it, but uh, 
Tell you what, Drew looks good rolling out there. I thought he had a chance maybe to run it too, but uh, the, the pass was open and uh, just didn't quite connect. Yeah, he's got a gun on him. He does, he's not bashful about cocking that arm and throwing it. Good arm strength. He's got some zip on him. I'll tell you, as an offensive lineman, I like the way he looks as a quarterback. He's a big, big guy. He could play some little bit of guard for you if you needed one. He's a he's a strong guy. So uh, let's see the keeper play. Second down and ten. Complete to Hawthorne at midfield. Nice pitch, nice catch. And uh, we had it last time. Let's go try it again, and we do it again, and it's right there again. This is a pretty nice pitch, though, guys, because he's pretty well covered on his sideline. They got dives for it. Drew put it the only place we could get it, and nice play. Play. Good, good way to go. Drew, great completion there. Great catch, Tim Hawthorne, right on the sideline. Kept it in bounds. Getting a few yards after the kick. First down to 10, 48-yard line for the Patriots. Robbins to the near side, Hawthorne to the far side. Double tight end set. Give to Freeman, not much there. Gonna lose about four. Keeper was wide open. Y'all watch that. I mean, nobody's even looking at the quarterback. Keep it, Drew. Steve will banged up there. They, they, they watching the double deuce. They're not going to let him beat them anymore than he already has. Second down at about 13. Empty backfield. Kilgore with a quick screen to Freeman. Gain of about one. Going to bring up third down and long. Tell you what, it was one of the better defenses we played all year. You can say that for them. They're pretty good tacklers. Yeah, they got good speed and uh, really, really made the play. So third down and about 12. Gore rolling, faking the draw. Out to Robbins, he's wide open. And Tyler gets down inside the 30. Ready to be a first down for the Patriots. Nice ball fake by Kilgore. Yeah, beautiful, and uh, you gotta watch. Anytime the ball's faked to Freeman, and he does such a great job of faking. And uh, you, you love when 32 gets the ball, he is wide open. How do they leave him that open? 12 never even saw the Kilgore had the ball. He was following Freeman on that great play fake. And uh, way to go, Drew. Great ball fake. Good feet. Good feet. Nice shot of Tyler Robbins right there, the junior speedster. Double tight end set. Hawthorne and Robbins to the near side. Kilgore and Freeman in the backfield. There's a keeper by Kilgore. He gains about a yard. Going to bring up second down. They had an extra man over there that time, and I started to say it before I did it. This is not the time to keep it, but uh, anyway, I can go Dan Williams really loves the Bears guys up there. They got a small bunch of fans who went down there. At their, they're looking at their wristbands, getting the play from the sideline. There's a good shot of Brandon Paul, Hawthorne, and Robbins. Revis to the far side by himself. Going to run the draw this time to Freeman. Uh, look Gets at by it. one guy. Wow. What a nice effort. play. You just think he's going to break it every time. And, man, he gave that guy the old gimp leg and took it away from him. And Took about five other guys to get him down. Let's, well, get, let's get a shot of our band, Glenn. There's third down and 11, so let's let's see what we do here. I think we're going to pull up Darius in and take Steve out. Let's see if we got a pass up our sleeve here. Third down and 11. 7.20 to go in the football game and a 24-7 lead. So Darius Woods. In the backfield with Kilgore. Kilgore rolling to the near side. Quick out to Hawthorne. 
Althorn with a juke inside the 25. Keeps that clock running, that's good. Yeah, nice play, Tim. Way to stay inbounds, keep that clock moving. Down to what, the 22 or three, and uh, we got a chance at a field goal here if they want to take it. Fourth down and a long two. Like we're gonna go for it. Well, we made fourth and 12 and made a touchdown last time, so fourth and two or three shouldn't be too hard here. Let's see what we do. Revis and Polk, you tight ends. Robbins and Hawthorne to the far side. Kilgore rolling to his left. Gonna keep it, and a big hit by the Stampede. That's Stampede. Stampeded, guys. They stopped us there. Flag on the play anyway. They'll decline it. And, uh, well, you know what? They did a good job. Drove the ball down the field. Took a lot of time off the clock. With our defense, 6.20 to go in the football game, 24 to 7. You know, you want them to score, but uh, they did what I think our coaches want them to do and move the ball down the field. Let's wait for the call here. Illegal motion, Homewood. They're going to turn it down, and it'll be their football. Illegal motion on the offense is declined. First down. So the Stampede will take over first down and 10. Balls at the 26-yard line. So they stiffen a little bit right there at the end. But, Larry, like you said, that was a good drive. Well, and I think it did pretty much what the coaches wanted. They didn't want to get the ball intercepted and, uh, you know, pass over the middle and get it run back for a touchdown, get them back in the game. Took the time off the clock. We got a 17-point uh, advantage. There's Clint's favorite band. That's right. I bet he's got a pretty daughter from the Star Spangled Girls. But, yeah, now that's the music they're in. The key and tone. Oh, oh, ball, 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 ball. Ball. oh, And the ball, they get back on it. Some teams just can't handle good things. <laughs> They'll learn. They've only been around three years, guys. This, this is their first ever playoff game yeah. right here. Yeah, and uh, doing a heck of a job. They'll be a team to deal with in the future for sure. The ball Smith, number 78 in the game for the Patriots, a defensive tackle, along with Gentry. Porter and Feld, your ends. Sam Barry, Kenneth Dorsey, along with Stan Galbraith, your linebackers. Right, straight drop. Porter with a little pressure. Sprint to his left. Ball goes incomplete. Gonna be third down. Stan, good pressure there. That guy's running for his life, and he did not want to get hit by Stan. And lucky he had a receiver downfield to pretend like he was throwing it to, or he had got the flag. I'm gonna say 87, Dominique Porter. I tell you, he put good pressure on him, and they had to pull two blockers on him. And he still put good pressure on, so nice play, Dominique. Defense played an outstanding game. You know, the one touchdown they scored, I think was probably a call play, but even, I don't think the snap on the ground was, though. But uh, great game. Yeah, when it takes a fake field goal to get in the end zone, it's, it's a compliment. And we got an equipment timeout on us, so we're gonna stick somebody else in there. Cody. Cody Rogers, number 90, the sophomore. And it must be a blood or something on him with the blood rule. Third down, 13, straight drop. Screen. Throw the screen and he overthrows it, but great pressure. It was set up, but that quarterback did not want to wait any longer and uh, Way to go, guys. Here you go, watch this. Yeah, this is like a jailbreak here. Look at that, boy. Couldn't get he out of his him in pretty good, couldn't though. He, he couldn't get it out of there fast enough. Uh-uh. <laughs> he'd have looped it a little more and given the ball a little more time and he's got time to turn around and get it. But he didn't want to loop of that win, Larry. He would have taken the ball. <laughs> Fourth down, 13. Punt formation Ooh. with a low kick, and it goes out of bounds to the right. Uh, let's see where they spot it on the, what, 44? So that's a 21-yard punt. Come on, offense. Five eighteen to go in the football game. Is that right? 
great shot of our defense. And the defense has really been on the money tonight. And uh, great shot of them. And I think the kicking game had one of their better nights, too. Good, good job by the kicking team. First down and 10. Balls at the 44. Kilgore and Woods in the backfield. Straight give. Keeper by Kilgore. And about gain of 15, 16 from Drew. Well, they didn't have the man looking for him this time. Uh, they've been putting an extra man out there, but nice, nice run by Drew Kilgore. Let's watch this one again. Good blocking, but a, a good read by Drew. Let's watch that far side. They sneak a guy up there, but watch him not watch him all night long, and we hook him inside. I can't see who our end is over there, but good job. David Ross is one of them. Revis is over there. <laughs> Double tight end set, Revis and Paul. Keeper, and another first down from Drew Kilgore and Moore. Uh-oh, fumble. They need to be blown out of whistle just a little bit quicker once he's caught up in there. If we'd see that again, Glenn, you'd see what uh, Drew's looking at. That line, outside linebacker's cheated all the way inside, all over the center. Well, they're used to not watching this, and we get good blocking out there. Oh, keep that ball inside, Drew, and when you get in the crowd, double up on it. Put two hands on it. Good recognition by. I don't know who covered it, but good for them. First down at 10, balls at the 15. Give to Woods. Oh, and he's gonna stroll into the end zone. It's amazing what a little bit of quarterback run in there and they gotta start respecting that. And the next thing you know, you got this monster hole on the other side of Ladarius scoots right there. Good play offense. Yeah, Brandon um, Lockett in there at guard on that play along with Rebels. Untouched, watch, watch him, Ladarius. Fastest man in the state. Bodine. Look at that. Matt Rebels, good job, Matt. You walled it off, bud. Big play. Hayes. On the kick. And it is up and good. 31 to 7. Patriot lead. 418 remaining. Get a little more breathing room right there. But our defense has been, you know, one mainstay. And special teams have been special. And there's another great shot of the Patriot band. You know how spoiled are we? We're, we're talking, we haven't scored enough and the offense hasn't played quite perfect. We got 31 points in a playoff game here. Are and we spoiled or what? We're spoiled. Mr. Freeman has uh, over 100 plus yards. Yeah, that's the first half. Yeah, I believe we are spoiled. There is the, the band. Number one band. Flag core there. Get the pom poms out and get ready to play off. Looks like you're having fun. Good to good for them. Get the jackets out. Temperatures drop tonight. Well, it's going to drop more next week when we move down the road to Stanhope Elmore. Hayes on the kick. The Patriots go three plays, 44 yards in a minute. With a 15 yard Ladarius Wood touchdown run. with a high short kick. No fair catch at the 24. Ooh, Woo! my goodness gracious. McClung. Larry, I've been noticing McClung, McClung on the sidelines. He's got some good dance moves. Over McClung there. and Hurricane with a big hit right here. Kenneth Dorsey, number 47. He's Archie's. been in on every yeah. tackle on the kickoff tonight. I, you know, way to go, McClung. Eddie McClung, sophomore. It's a sophomore. Great shot of our varsity cheerleaders. 4-11 remaining. Keeper by the quarterback. Nice job by Michael Oliver cutting him in. And Cody Rogers, yeah. Mike Stonewall, Stonewall, number 48, all in on the tackle. He had some fresh legs out there, Timmy Larry, and they're, they're running him down from behind. Staying out in front of him. Good defense by our second teamers. Anthony May in and defensive end with Rogers. Jamal Smith, Chaz Stearns, and a tackle. Brandon Clark, Sam Barry, Mike Stonewall, 
and in linebackers. Great gift. There you go, Anthony May. Anthony May, Kenny Baker, Cody Rogers. Anthony May, big, strong looking player and senior. This is a beautiful play here, guys. And uh, tell you what, look at him fight off the pulling guard and uh, he cuts it back inside. Terrific job. Great technique. Did what he needed to do. Third down at nine. Well, we got a backfield in motion. Oh. oh, he got it. Give it to oh, him. He's oh. waving it off. Man, he got that No thing. way. Yeah, no, he it. caught that ball. One says yes, the other one says no. He caught that ball. Where's the white Run hat? it again, Glenn. Where's the white hat? There is a flag on the play anyway. Well, we got a backfield in motion, but we can decline it if it's our ball. We're going to decline it either way. Watch this again. Kenny, this is the second time Kenny's intercepted a pass. He got that ball. That's all there is to it. That was a clean catch. That's the second time he's intercepted a pass and, and the ball. Uh, I can see it better and I'm 50 yards away from him. That guy was only 20. Well, there's two of them. See, and they split their decision. The guy on our sideline said he caught it, but the bank judge said he didn't. And, uh, you know, it was a bad tough break. And uh, not gonna, I hate it for Kenny Baker. That's the second time this year he's caught a, a great catch. Illegal motion on the offense. Down. You got that part right. Fourth down for the Stampede ball at the 29 yard line. Playing baseball, that'd be pretty good, 50%. We got the motion, the miss enters. That's just a tough play. Second time, Kenny Baker. Good job, buddy. Good coverage, terrific catch. There's the cheerleaders. They had stopped moving all night. You know, they are tuckered out. They've been Got the little Patriot on their side of their face there. Look pretty good. I want to get that next week later. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we'll mistake you for something. Not an announcer, though. <laughs> we don't have anybody back. Nice oh, kick right. there. Mercy me. This is going to oh, be man. career Thank punt you. for this young man. 70-yard punt. Wow. 68-yard punt, no return, and uh, two minutes and 30 seconds to go in the game. Of course, we didn't want to take a chance on Miss Hanlon. There's a pretty young lady. Ms. Lacey Mann, the captain of our varsity cheerleading. And there's, a, there's that uh, Patriot right there on the cheek. Ms. Mallory Watson Mallory right Watson. there, the beautiful picture of her. Yeah. And that's Dan Cannon on the camera. That's a great shot, Dan. But, uh, yeah, I don't think people realize these young kids, they're up at them at shoot, 7 in the morning. Decorate the locker room. And, and pretty at night, too, yeah. you know. We've had a 15-hour day already. Getting in the game. Give to Woods. Go, Long go. gain. He's out to about the 19-yard line goes Ladarius Woods. Nice run, Ladarius. Good blocking. And uh, way to go, Chip. I guarantee he's got a little K in his name there somewhere. But uh, good, good play here, well, there he is. Look at the blocking. Wow. I don't know who ran them out of the picture there, but that was a beautiful block. Brandon Lockett with a nice block. Michael Thompson, I think, is the guy that pushed him out. Will Stevens in the game. A tight end. Give to Woods. There you go. And another first down carry for Woods. Got to respect that quarterback, and uh, good things happen when you do. Let's watch good, this again. Good blocking on the left side of that line. Look at that, carry him out of the picture. Oh, good Rebels. job, Matt Rebels. Michael Thompson. Mark Tortolot in the game, number 83 at receiver. There's some more pretty girls. Jay Johnson in the game at center. Minute 47 and counting. He's going to wait. The play clock's on 13, 12. They're waiting. Paul and Stevens, your tight ends. 
Kentucky up to Woods. Looking for the corner. And he gets about 15 more. Nice play out here, Will Cole, and uh, good blocking. And Ladarius really runs that ball with authority, though. I like this. BP down here on the end, sealing that block right there with that a flag. Good yeah. play. Yeah, and he look gets at that speed. Man. Nice football play there. Give Jay that. Johnson, your center. Adam Lloyd at one tackle. Brandon Lockett at guard. Will Stevens, your tight end. Jarvis King, Matt Rebels, and Brandon Paul on the other side of the line. Toward a lot to the near side. Ginya and Woods in the backfield. There's a flag on the play. We must have come out of our set. Well, let's wait and see. We never put our hand down. Let's wait and see. I guess we moved. You know, they're jumping in there at us. It's hard to sit still like that. Matt Real was coming out and Joseph Mitchell going, going in. in. Uh, an offensive Offense. tackle. On the offense, five yard penalty. It remains first down. First and 15. Kareem Abdullah in at receiver, number 15. Sit on that clock, bro. Keeper by Ginya. Gain of about six, and there's a flag on the play. Cause a hole way behind the play. Well, with 45 seconds to go in the football game, it's going to be first, first and 15. You know, it doesn't matter. We're going to run about two more plays, and the game's going to be over. Here's your call. Personal foul on the defense. We have holding on the offense. The penalty is offset. Replay the down. So the ball will be at the 40. First down and 15. Looks like we got number 70, Griffin Peterson, in the game. First down and 10. This may be the last this play. Probably the, game. the last play of the game. Double tight end set. There's the carry from Woods. And that's going to be the last play of the game. The Patriots with a big 31 7. Victory here in the first round of the 2005 playoffs. All right, good job, guys. Came in here and got the job done. Got to get on the road next week. Well, we need we got a little laundry to take care of. We gonna we need to take us a little break right here and talk about our friends at Porter Tire. There's a good shot of Porter Tire store out at. 1215 Bessemer Highway. Give Eddie a call. 925-4488. Porter Tire Store. Got all brands of tires. Also does brake work, alignments, oil changes. And, uh, give Eddie a call. There's a great shot of Eddie. His 115-pound uh, team will be playing in the championship game next Saturday for the Metro football championship but give Eddie a call get some tires at quarter tire service and uh, we're going to go right into our Jim and Nick's uh, fifth quarter report and we appreciate Jim and Nick's and we might need to see about getting a little pie after the game and we're going to go to Steve Trucks on defense first. Thanks Tim uh, another good night dominating performance by the Patriot defense several several players all over the field and one thing that you see at this point in the uh, 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 season is how everybody steps up. Robert Gentry, one play. Aaron Fell, Sack Fell, one play. Uh, Cordelius Rogers steps up. Kenny Baker, everybody had a great night. Really shut down the uh, a pretty good, what I call a pretty good Paul Bryant uh, team. Kenny Baker wound up with 10 tackles. Unbelievable. Great job, Kenny. Michael Oliver, nine tackles. Daniel Hayes, two. Scott Lee, six tackles. Great job. Anthony M.A. came in, did a good job with one tackle. 
Got DJ Taylor, 11 tackles tonight. What a performance. Great job by DJ Taylor. Michael Causey had a tackle for us. David Hitman Green, six tackles for us. The little man with the big heart, Sam Berry, four hammers tonight. Good job, Sam. We got Aaron Sackfeld, eight tackles all over the field. Ken Hurricane Dorsey got four tackles. Mike Stonewall, two. Robert Wildman Gentry all over the field with five tackles. Stan the Man Galbraith, 11 tackles. Eddie Hitman McClung as well, four tackles. Cordelia Sky Rogers, one tackle. Buddy, hope you're okay with your shoulder. Cameron Daly, good job with one tackle. We got Jamal Smith with one tackle. Cordell Slaughter does a great job, had two tackles for us. Dominic Porter, another one of those guys that just steps up play after play, had four tackles. Martez Packer, one tackle. Cody Rogers came in, had did a great job. We had two interceptions, one by Scott Lee and Kenny Baker, man, I'm giving you that interception. That was a great job. We had Eddie McClung cause the fumble. We had a sack by Robert Gentry and David Hitman Green and a fumble recovery by David Hitman Green. So overall, a great performance. Nice job by the defense. Keep it up. Let's go one more week. Let's do it again. Appreciate it, Steve. And we appreciate Jim and Nix for that defensive report. Let's take another break right quick. And listen to our friends at Dawson Memorial Baptist Church. If you were given a gift that could change the world, how far would you go to share it? With those nearest to you? All around the city? Across the country? Or even to the ends of the earth? Let us know how we can share the gift of God's love with you. Join us this Sunday at Dawson. Appreciate our friends at Dawson Memorial Baptist Church, Dr. Fenton and uh, we're going to go right back to our Jim and Nick's report with our offense and Mitch Nelson. Thank you, Tim. Pretty good second half of football. Homewood tonight ended the night with 30 rushing attempts for 240 yards, passing. <laughs> excuse me. Drew Kilgore and Austin Hubbard were 11 completions on 18 attempts for 145 yards or a total production of 385 yards. Homewood ended the night with 14 first downs. Punts, uh, we punted the ball three times for a 38 yard average. We were penalized seven times for 60 yards. Individually, Steve Freeman had 20 carries for 147 yards and two touchdowns. Drew Kilgore had four carries for 26 yards and Ladarius Woods had five carries for 67 yards and a touchdown. On the receiving side of the football, Tyler Robbins had four receptions for 49 yards. Tim Hawthorne had four receptions for 97 yards and a touchdown. Steve uh, and Brandon Polk had one reception for two yards. Um, on, the Paul Brayer, on the Paul Bryant side of the, uh, uh, they rushed the ball 35 times for 65 yards. Passing, passing, they were six completions on 15 attempts for 81 yards or a total production of 146 yards. They had 10 first downs. They punted the ball eight times for a 38-yard average. Uh, they were penalized only two times for 10 yards. All in all, a good night for the Patriots. Let's get ready to keep going. Back to you, Tim. We appreciate it, Mitch, and we appreciate Jim and Nix and all they do for Homewood football and bringing us that fifth quarter of stat report. Well, round one is down, guys. Final and, comment. And it was a tough one, hard-fought game, 31-7. Didn't feel like a 31 to seven game, but that gives credit to us. We are spoiled. But again, guys, going down to Stanhope Elmore, haven't been down there in a while. Uh, everybody get down there, support them. Stanhope Elmore, the whole community will be there. They will be cooking out, tailgating all day before the game. So come on out. Proud of the defense, proud of the offense. We did what we had to do. It was a workmanlike effort and uh, good win. Four more to go. Larry. Proud of the kicking game too. I, I thought the kicking game was outstanding tonight. If we'd have lost the kicking game, we could have gotten in some trouble there. But uh, good job by the Patriots. They did what they had to do. Like you said, it wasn't the prettiest game we played, and we're used to pretty games. To be honest about, it. we're just used to blitzing these teams. It's going to get tougher. Stan Hope Elmore is pretty good, guys, and uh, you know it's going to get tougher and tougher as we move in. We're in the final part of the season here, the last hopefully four games, and. Uh, you know, good job this this far. The first seven were easy. The last four have been pretty tough. Uh, the competition's gotten tougher, and I, I, I believe it's going to get a little tougher as we move on into the playoffs. Great job. So a big victory here at Waldrop Stadium, home sweet home, 31-7 Patriot victory. 
And a very, very good five and five Paul Bryant High School. And we move down toward Montgomery next week. Stan Hope Elmore. And like I said, we're a little banged up. And uh, come, su come support this team because they need all your support. And, uh, you know, we, we, like I said we earlier, we're a little spoiled. But this is a very special team. So make the trip next week, and we'll see you next week at Homewood Football.